Hello everyone, my name is Carrie Cashes and today it's going to be an extra special video because we're going to be doing a sort of back to the bank bill condensing for the end of the month as well as taking money out of my cash envelopes and putting it into my high yield savings. So let's get into it. To get started, I am going to be redoing and sort of resetting my budget for the month of June and we're going to get started with the savings challenge binder and yes I do have still a really bad sinus infection this is like the sinus infection that won't heal it's been like two weeks at this point <laughs> so um, but just to catch you up on everything my husband and I have just recently purchased our new home and we well we purchased it actually back in oh my gosh it was like April sometime but it took time to close and then it also like the home the current or the previous homeowner wanted to stay in the house a little bit longer um, as part of the deal so we were able to give them a little bit extra time and um, so it took us a long time to finally move back into our home or to move into our home rather not back into it <laughs> so anyway all that to say um, I'm going to be reworking our budget for June going forward and we're going to be having a lot of our uh, finances change in our categories. So one of the things that I'm going to be changing is this $5,000 savings challenge. I'm just going to pause it for now and I'm actually just going to set it to the side. And so all of the money that is currently in here is going to be going back to the bank. We already have $2,000 in the bank set aside for this in a high yield savings account. So the cash that we're taking back is 1, 2, 250, 270, 290, 310, 325, 330 dollars. So I'm just going to write that down because that is going back to the bank. And then what I'm hoping on doing and planning to do is do some mini savings challenges and some smaller ones. So I don't know what I'm going to replace this with yet, but for now, that is what we are going to do. This one is staying the same. This one is basically going to be going, I'm going to be working a little bit slower on this, but I am still going to be working towards that. And then this savings challenge we finished. I actually think this is the first savings challenge that I have completed this year um, <clears throat> because I started this in the new year. So let's say we ended this on 6-2 and it is a total of $235. So that's what we should have right here. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 35. So 235, I don't know why I set the money aside. Okay, let's put the money in the cash tray. <clears throat> also, we have um, some placeholders here that I might use for other envelopes, but for now, this is where we are going to put all of our money, and then we don't need any placeholders currently. So um, let's see. And then I'm just going to make a note on my sheet here of everything I'm going back to the bank. This is my winter, I know, winter savings challenge. It's 235. Um, but that's how long it took to complete this. So <laughs> we're going to set that aside. And then we did complete our monthly savings challenge, which is from the fancy dollar. This should be 150. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 145, 150. And then we're going to put this um, towards our yearly um, water park adventure that we always go to. And then we're going to reset this for June. So that's super exciting. And then I don't know if I'm going to continue using this binder because, well, I'm going to use this binder, but I might use it for different things because we are going to be reworking some of our personal budget and adding in some more categories for our new home and the cost of our new home. All right, so let me just write this down. That was for our monthly challenge, and that was 150 Okay. Now let's go into this binder because... This is already, this is a mini emergency fund. There's $1,200 in the bank, so that's already there. And then extra week, I actually need to take money out for this to pay. This is basically extra utilities. Um, since we were in the process of moving, I didn't. I don't have access to my full um, 
office setup so that I can make new envelopes. So I was just using this temporarily, but now that I have my office all set up finally in my new house, I'll be able to fix and add new envelopes. So extra week, um, Let's see, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 55, 60, 360. I think I'm going to take all of this out except for, um, maybe I'll take 300 out and leave like 60 here. Or, um, I'm just thinking, because all of it's going to go towards setting up our internet, which we paid for. Uh, setting up our utilities, having like, because everything has to be front loaded. Um, our trash and recycle, I'm going to take out here in a second. So I'm going to take, let's say, 300 and leave 60. So let's leave 20, 40. I'm trying to find like not super crushed up bills, but these are all not super great. Okay. So this should be 300. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 300. Okay. So we're going to take this back to the bank and then leave this in here for like a starter fund of a buffer. Um, and then we're going to say utilities 300. And then trash and recycle, I'm going to take out this 100, and I'm actually going to put back in a 20 because I didn't need the full amount for that. And then I'm going to take out this fully funded placeholder because we will start stuffing this envelope again. <coughs> so we're just going to say trash was 80. And then I think that's good for all of this. Um, I will come back and condense this medical. Okay, so medical actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to take this out or leave this in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500 dollars. Um, because I'm basically going to call this fully funded, mini fully funded. And I think I might put this in the bank and then put a fully funded placeholder in here um, I, because we are reprioritizing a lot of our stuff that we have done for our move and uh, putting a lot more money into our home projects so what we're going to do is reallocate some of our funds redo our budget add in new categories remove some categories and so um, saving up for medical Past $500 is not like a super priority right now, but at the end of summer, we will pick it back up again, probably. Medical is 500 And then co-pays. Um, actually, I do need to condense this, but I'm not going to do this right now. Car registration. Okay, all this is good. All right, so let's just... We'll come back to this when we condense everything, but right now let's move on to our sinking funds binder real quick. All right. So the same thing with this binder, we're definitely going to keep using this. However, we're not going to be continuing to stuff travel and trips because um, we're going to put, see, one, two, three, this should be 200, 20, 40. 60, 80, 200. Okay. I'm going to put two 100s in here and I'm going to leave this $500 in this envelope, but it is basically going to be fully funded as well. Let me switch out this one. So this should be one, two, three, four, five. Some of these are not great um, because what we're going to do is if we need to go on a travel or trip or anything like that, we're going to take money from here, but it's going to be like a little mini trip or something. We're not going to do like really big trips this year because we spent a lot of money moving. I'm sure as you can imagine, a lot of money buying this house. So, um, okay. I think that is the only thing in this envelope or sorry, this binder. Yeah. Okay. So that should be 
everything there. Um, I am going to put a just fully funded here at the front and just leave this in here. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the money in the bank because we do want to have this for little mini trips and I don't want to have to like keep track of that in the bank. So let's condense this a little bit. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. So we'll keep 40 and this will be 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40. 4, 40 in Christmas, which is great. So right now, I think that's everything we need to take back to the bank. Um, and we'll count this here in a minute, but let's do our cash condensing. 20, 40, 60, 81. Let's get some slightly better. 20. Let's put this in the back. Um, that way my envelopes still stay condensed. Um, do I want to put 100 in here? Or 250s maybe? Mm, I think this is okay for now. Okay, household. <laughs> this is really needs to be condensed. 100, 200, 250, 270. 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 445. Okay, so we need to keep two of these and then this five. So this should be $400. One, two. Yes, okay. Um, I'm just thinking. Let's do 200 and then we'll do some better 50s. Like that. Because I want some smaller bills when we need household stuff, but I don't want this envelope to be too full. So let's see. One, two, Three, four, forty-five. Okay, I think that's good for this. Yeah. Still a lot of bills, but it's good. This is okay. Electronics is okay. This is fine. All of these are mostly pretty good because I just recently did a cash stuffing and I know what's in there. And let's see, skincare. Let's do... put some of this 20s back. That's actually not too bad. Um, um, I know what is in these envelopes and they don't need to be condensed really a whole ton. Let's see. Let's do yeah. Let's do a 10. I never really get great 10s from the bank. Or is it just like 10s are just not that popular? Okay. These are all basically the same. So this is 20, 40, 60, 75. Yes. Which is what was in there because I just wrote down the balances on my spreadsheet. Clothing has, can trade out for a 20. So now it has 30, or it still has 30 rather. And then gifts should be fine. I'm just going to leave this because we did take out a bunch of money for gifts for Father's Day. Two Father's Day presents. So already got those. Already got the cards. All that kind of stuff. We will take out a little bit because um, we're taking my father-in-law for like the day out for the day and like going to play mini golf and some stuff like that. So we will um, take a little bit more out. Special occasions. Let's see. We can trade this in for a 100 because special occasions we're not really using frequently. This is something and then we'll trade all these out for. This 10 is awful. Um, let's see, two 20s. So it should be 260 in here. Yes, okay. We use this envelope for our anniversary and stuff like that, as well as um, other special occasions with friends and family. All right, let's see about this binder, which has a really good amount of stuff in here still. Okay, gas is good. We know that one's good. 
annual expenses 20, 40, 60, 80, 80, so that's 100, 10, 25, okay. So I think if we do this, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And then this should be mostly condensed. I'm trying to think, do I want to put, no, I think this is good. Annual expenses, we don't really have anything coming out until I think August or September, so we can leave that like that. I'm gonna be, should I unstuff this now? I know I pretty much have to unstuff all of this, but I'm not gonna worry about that, let's see. So that's 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 310. So let's get a nice 10 and two 100s. Yeah, I think that that will work. Um, we're trying to figure out if I want 50s or not in here, but for now this is good. Okay, copays. 10, 15, 25. So we'll just do a 20. Whoops. Wrong slot. So 100. Should I put 50s in here? Our copay for our, like our vision, this is for our vision and dental. Um, and I'm pausing this for now, or I might just do like $5 a week or something. We, I do want to put our medical deductibles in here, our medical copays, which is like $500, I think. But I haven't saved up for that yet. Um, so this is fine. We're just going to go with this. It's 225 in there. Car registration, we'll put another 50 because um, well these 50s are okay um, this isn't due until September as well so that's fine car care all right 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 90 200 um, let's do 60, 80, and then 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Okay, we're going to do two 50s and then leave a bunch of 20s because I do spend out of this envelope. So this is 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Great. And then this one definitely needs to be condensed, but I don't have a, any 100s left. So actually, um, maybe I'll put some 50s in here. Yeah. Or I need to put four 50s in here. Okay, so one, two, three, ten. Yeah, okay. Because I'll be unstuffing this anyways, I think, or at least most of it. This is for like vitamins and supplements. Um, but then some of it we paid for some vitamins for my father in law, and then he paid us back. So I need to just like pay back the credit card with that. Okay, 200 of this. Let's keep this straight. <laughs> 200 of this goes there. Okay, so this is our car insurance. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, so that's 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 45. So 325 that we can condense. So we'll put all of these back, 200, and then we'll take these two 50s because that's all we can do right now. I don't want to put this money in the bank until it's due, which is like October, or at least right now that's what I'm thinking, but maybe I should. One, two, three, four, five, six, forty-five. Yes, that's correct. For now, we'll just leave it like this, and then maybe at the end of June when I do another back to the bank cash condensing bill exchange, I will 
maybe put that in the bank. So, okay. This is going to be, oh, this is so much thinner. This is great. This is going to be a lot of 20s <laughs> to count. So let's start. Let's start with this. Wow, this is a lot. All right, let's just see how much we're taking back to the bank in total. So that's, that's a decent amount of money. I have definitely taken back bigger piles to the bank, but for now, this is great. Um, how much should we have? Let's start with that. So let's start with the 20s, and then firstly, let's count from our sheet here. So let's put that right there. I got my calculator. So of all the money that we took out back to the bank, the total that we should have is 1595. So let's hope that's what this is. <laughs> All right, let me actually write that down. 1595 and then we can use the calculator to count this. So I'm going to take half of this at a time. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five hundred. So that's another five hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, so three sixty. Sorry if you can hear my neighbor who just turned on his leaf blower, so that's fun. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 170. So we're looking pretty good so far. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. 65. All right, perfect. So that was $1,595 uh, that we will be taking back to the bank um, from our cash envelopes and depositing it into our high yield savings account. And then starting in June, I will also be doing a mini Monday savings challenges as well as doing an overhaul of our budget and redoing our categories. So you'll see many of those videos to come. So I hope that you subscribe and I hope that you give this video a like and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.